Hi guys, welcome back to the vlogs. Clearly, it's been some time since I talked to a camera, but I'm just sitting, I'm actually at my dining table right now, and Emma is coming to pick me up because it's a really exciting day, but I finally bought a car over the weekend, and I'm so excited today I get to go pick it up. Today is Thursday, and I've been waiting all weekend to go get my car and I'm sure you guys already know if you've followed along on my Instagram stories that I did like at Christmas, it was a part of my vlog um, at Christmas where I went car shopping and it's just been a long process because the reason why I didn't get a car sooner is because I've never bought a car before and my parents, they haven't come to Vancouver yet since I've moved here. And so I was pretty much just waiting for them to get here so they could help me with it because I have no idea what I'm doing. But I ended up going in last weekend with Austin because I was looking online. I found a really good car and um, it's not new, but it's a really good year with super super low mileage on it and that's exactly what I wanted. I don't need a brand new car, but um, I did want to invest in um, a specific model just because it's the one I fell in love with. I've worked so hard and I've been saving um, my money um, over the past year for just a number of things, but a car was like number one on my list because I've been driving Austin's since I moved here. And when he was in school, He's still in summer school, but um, when he was in like full a full load of classes, he wasn't really needing the car as much. But since he started um, work for the summer, we've had um, just it's been harder to like schedule and plan who's gonna have the car on what day. So I was like, honestly, I just feel like this is time. I've been wanting to do this for months now, and every time I saw this specific car in the streets, I would always be like, that's my car. I would say it to anyone who was in the car with me. Um, and yeah, and so it all ended up working out. I did it all on my own, which is very exciting because I am not good with that kind of stuff. Like I'm very much the type of person who like will want my mom to like book my dentist appointment for me. Um, but I mean, not like realistically, but like, you know, um, but yeah, so Emma's coming to get me and we are gonna go get my car. So I'm so excited to show it to you guys. It's so cute, it's so perfect. I'm very excited. So today is a good day and I'm going to be back with the vlogs. I just find that over the past year, if I, not over the past year. Well, yeah, honestly, 2021 has just been like a very, strange year for me. Um, I remember when it was January of 2021, I was in the world's biggest funk. I like couldn't get out of bed. I couldn't stay motivated. I was just really struggling to like stay on top of things. And I feel like I haven't felt like that in a while. I've actually been super motivated during this spring summer season and I'm really excited to like go out and shoot content. But I feel like over the past few weeks, the weather here in Vancouver hasn't been that nice. So it's almost like, it's almost like made me feel like a little bit, like I'm like, I haven't really done that much because the weather hasn't been great. Um, Austin started work like people the people that I would hang out with during the day or like um, would help me with shooting um, Have been busy like it's just been like a weird time But I'm back. I'm so excited to be back summer is gonna be so much fun and I have so much to catch you guys up on I've been working on Something that's very exciting. I've never I don't think I've announced this yet, but I'm not going to fully disclose what it is, but I have been working on something and it's not coming out anytime soon, but I have started and that has been taking up a lot of my time. So I've been spending a lot of time at home working on that and getting that all sorted out because it has nothing to do with what I currently do with like Instagram or any of that stuff. Um, but yeah, I'm so excited. Everything is just like... Um, Everything feels like it's like real, like almost like not real, but it feels like 
everything is like starting to kind of come together and um yeah i'm very excited so i think emma's gonna be here soon i'm not sure if she's left her house yet she was supposed to be here um literally five minutes ago so um i guess i'll just see you guys when we get in the car and head to the dealership so i'll see you then okay so we're in the car right now emma's driving and hey, we're sisters. going to the um the dealership so we're gonna get the car soon we're like two minutes away so two minutes yeah are emma, you excited i'm very excited i just have this like weird feeling that like they're gonna be like oh you can't take it home with you today i don't no know why chance. i keep i don't know why i keep thinking that but i'm like there's no chance hopefully it all works out but yeah no i'm very excited emma came and picked me up as you guys already know very very stunning of her but now i'm kind of sad because i don't like driving alone I know. and we're gonna have to drive alone i I'm know like, it's so sad i don't know if we're doing anything after this but um maybe get some food absolutely 100 percent. have i yeah no well i had a pear oh not a pear a peach a peach i haven't eaten yet today and i'm very i haven't even had coffee yeah i had a coffee Sarah, uh, coffee this morning. Yum. Um, but okay, yeah, we're almost at the dealership. Um, so I'll see you guys when we get there. Are you excited? Very excited. We're getting. I'm like this it's is a long walk. This walk, right? No, it's it's kind of like intense, <laughs> suspenseful. It's very suspenseful. We're getting the Mercedes PFGLC. <laughs> Honestly, the fact that <laughs> that even like you guys. Now we have PFG and the Mercedes. PFGLC. Yes. No, honestly, goals. I was thinking about it in the car, like I don't really care about my license plate. But I was like, what's my license plate number? Going it to should be PFGLC. That'd be iconic. But it kind of scares me of like people knowing my license plate. Right. I'm like, well, I haven't right. been murdered yet. <laughs> Just yet. <laughs> Not yet. Okay, okay well, we're, going we're going in. Goodbye. Five hours later. There she is. Right there. Stunning queen if I ever saw one. Woo! Wow, so nice. I'm so excited. Wow, it looks so good. It looks really good. She's stunning. Oh, okay. Test her out. <gasps> Looks so good. Just to protect your trunk. a little gift for you too. Oh, thank you. That's so sweet. Perfect. So much room.
Okay, so we just stopped in for some sushi for lunch. Um, we're at our one of our fave spots in West Van. It's called Ichiban. Ichiban. Um, it's one of like Emma's favorite spots that she showed me, and they have like just like the best like casual. It's like a casual dining experience. It's so clearly <laughs> it's so good. It's so good. Um, but yeah, we kind of already have started devouring. Um, we both got spider rolls, avocado. She got a California roll. We got a tempura miso soup, and she got a sea seaweed salad. But we're just here right now having lunch, and then we're probably just gonna go home and chill after that. So True. that's what's up on our the plan agenda. for the day. Oh, and we're filming a new episode of TSS later tonight, but mm -hmm. that's not until way later. But okay, mm -hmm. great, bye. Okay, so I got home not too long ago. I'm just quickly touching up my makeup because I look like a grease ball, pretty much. Um, so I'm just applying some powder. And then I wanted to share with you guys some new items that I got in the mail because they're super cute. And I just got setting powder all over my lips. Um, but I just got some really cute new stuff in the mail that I've been wanting to share. Um, so I'm gonna show that to you guys after, but the car process took so long this afternoon or this morning, I mean. Um, we were there for like two and a half hours, I think, um, or like two hours maybe, for sure over two hours. But um, yeah, it just like took a really long time to get everything done. And yeah, so it was so, so exciting. Okay, I don't know what's going on with my camera right now. Um, but it was so, so exciting. I'm very, very happy right now. It doesn't even feel real that like I have a car. Okay, so I hope this is good lighting. I'm just back at the dining table. This is really my spot in the apartment. I love sitting at the dining table. Um, but I thought I'd show you guys what I picked up from Revolve. I have quite a few things here that are so cute for the summer. So first up is this really cute knitted crop top from L'Academy. I got this in a size medium and it's so cute. I'm obsessed with it. I feel like this would be really cute with like a pair of white trousers and a blazer. Um, or it would be really cute with like a super oversized blazer and then like maybe a pair of capris Because I feel like legging capris are coming back and I think that this is kind of something that I would do to style it um, This is just really cute and beachy. I feel like I would also wear this to the beach um, It's just like a really fun summer top. So I picked this up first Then next I got these really cute cream knitted shorts they just looked super comfortable and I think that I could style these a few different ways like making them a little bit cuter for like loungewear with like an oversized crew neck or I could find a way to style this up with something like a blazer and a cute little crop top and some heels or sneakers. I just think that this could be really cute and fun for summer and they're just nice to lounge around in around the house. I love stuff like this. I wear this all the time just when I'm at home. So something a little bit cuter like this is going to be perfect. And also the fact that they're shorts. I have so many sweatpants, but I feel like I don't have that many shorts like this. So I got these and I think that they're super cute then i picked up this sweater from lpa it's so cute it's so me it's just like very my style but it's this really pretty like light peachy pink color with some flowers embroidered on it and i just think that this is i mean if you know me you know that this sweater is just my style i love it i think it'd be so cute with jeans um white trousers again white denim um, I just think it's so cute and once I saw it on the website, I was like I have to have this This is something that I need for the summertime And I think also you could layer this with like a dress um, if you if it got colder outside and you're wearing like a um, a tank top style dress you could just throw this on and it'd look really cute over top of that um, But yeah, this is from LPA. I love this I think it's so cute and just the detailing on it is so nice I got it in a size medium if I'm sure you can already see but um, Yeah, I got it in a size up just so it was a little bit more oversized and wasn't so fitted so I could layer it with other items um, but yeah, so this is the sweater I got from LPA. Then I got this really pretty, this is like a eyelet style top 
When I see this top, I just think of summer and I think it'd be really cute with a pair of cut off denim shorts because it ties in the center. So this is kind of like, it shows your skin. Um, it could also be really cute with a bikini underneath if you don't wanna go that route. But I would probably wear just like a regular style bra with this and just like wear it as is with denim shorts. I think it could be really cute. And you can adjust the strap so it's not revealing too much and showing too much of your um, chest and stomach if you wanted. Um, this is from Tularosa. I love it. I just think it has super cute little details. It reminds me of a top that like you would wear in Greece or the Hamptons or something like that, but I just love it. I think it's so cute and is also perfect for the summertime. Okay, so my camera died, so I had to go grab another charger. Um, but this is the next dress that I picked out. This is from Lovers and Friends, and it is one of my favorite things that I have received for the summertime. It's this really cute, like poofy style dress. And I love that the straps are adjustable and they just tie up, but the print of this is so cute. And when I saw it on the website, I was like, this is going to be perfect for the summertime. And I have this little cutoff type sweater. I don't even know. It's kind of like a shawl sh shrug type thing. Um, but I just thought it looks so cute with this and be so perfect. And I just love how girly this is. And it's really short. I just think it's so cute and i love it so this is from lovers and friends um i'm sure you guys have already seen this on my instagram by now i mean depending on when this video goes live but yeah so cute i'm obsessed and i cannot wait to style this um more throughout the summer because i feel like there's a lot that i can do with this and i just love the print and it's so cute and girly okay so the next thing i got is this really cute bikini and this is from this is from where is this from is this lpa yeah this is from lpa as well and it just has the prettiest details on it i love this like bra style bikini top i just think it's so flattering and these little um applique daisies are so cute i am obsessed with this i can't wait to wear it it's so flattering and then these are the bottoms and these go these are like a classic um bikini bottom but i like that there's this little dip in the middle here and it just makes it really flattering because you can wear the sides of the bikini higher up on your hips and it just looks so flattering and i love it this pale pink color is so cute and i would style this um whole set with like an oversized white button down and then just wear some denim shorts or even just like matching white linen style boxer shorts with it. it would be so cute i am obsessed i cannot wait for the weather to get warmer here in van so i can actually wear this to the beach because it's so stunning okay and then the last item that i picked out this is going to be really hard to show on camera but it's this maxi style dress and so it ties at um the neck so it's a halter and then it goes lower in the back and it is so pretty i'm obsessed with maxi dresses for the summertime and they're not really something that i used to buy like i feel like i really just got into them this year but I just think that they're so summery. They're so pretty and easy. And I just think um, they remind me of like if you're going to Mexico and like you would wear like a maxi dress to dinner after like a long day at the beach. Or if you're on like some sort of hot holiday, I feel like maxi dresses are the perfect thing to bring with you because they're so easy. They're so comfortable. Um, and if you get like a sunburn, they're just like, it just like feels like pajamas on your body pretty much. Um, but yeah, I love this dress. I can't wait to style it. I don't know where I'm going to wear it yet, but I think it'd be really cute like out to dinner with my hair in like a slick bun or something like that. A cute pair of sandals and then like some sort of little like sweater cardigan thing just draped over my shoulders it would be very cute. And this dress is from, where is this? This is Tula Rosa and I got it in a size small. Um, but all these items will be linked down below in the description box if you would like to shop. And yeah, that's everything I got from Revolve. So if you guys would like to shop, you can find them once again down below. And yeah, I'm gonna start cleaning up because Austin's gonna be home from work soon. And the apartment's kind of a disaster right now. I just have stuff everywhere and I need to put it away. I'm gonna go. But I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.